This is Proc. Does it have the best nightlife in Europe? I'm here with Professor Eva, and in this episode we're gonna show you the best bars and nightclubs in Prague. One of the most fun cities in Europe for an awesome night out. The Prague nightlife stretches across three major areas. The new town, lesser town and the old town. In this video we're going to check out the best rooftop patios, cozy speakeasies, creepy shots, dangerous drinks, the hottest and biggest nightclubs, some underground techno, unique bars like the robot bar, horror bar, railway bar and even a beer spa. The best places to mingle with the locals and giving you a quick tour of a museum house we rented for our stay. We are starting off the evening in the gorgeous historic old town of Prague, Stare Miesto, at Terrasa u Prince, one of the best rooftop patios for some early evening drinks, since it rocks some of the most excellent views overlooking the old town square. This place is worth the wait during peak hours. Beers start roughly at 5 bucks, cocktails 8. Yeah, what better than to grab a drink here at Terrasa u Prince, downtown Prague, one of the best viewpoints here in the city. Do make sure to come on a sunny day though, because this is what you want to see. You don't want a bunch your clouds. After your first drink you may be in the mood for something stronger. Absinthe bar. Absintheria Yilska is an actual absinthe museum with 100 kinds of absinths from all over the world. Mainly produced in uh, Czech, France and Switzerland. The strongest absinthe we can find here on the menu 74%. There is a very special way of serving absinthe. <laughs> Beetle absent. Oh, oh, oh man, that's too much. 70% alcohol. This is just death. Vincent van Gogh drank this all the time. That's why he was so creative. And that's why he probably cut off his ear because he just drank too much absent. Oh, oh, oh. Not as bad as I thought, but still, that's way too strong. Yeah. Trust me, the pain is real. In addition to regular absinthe, they also sell absinthe chocolate, absinthe beer, absinthe marmalade, and they even serve absinthe ice cream during the summer months. Step it up a notch at another unique bar. We're now in the robotic bar. Uh, it's the only robotic bar here in the Czech Republic. So let's check out what this whole experience is all about. Watch while two robotic arms, often seen in car factories, prepare your drink. Yeah, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby. I personally still prefer an actual bartender, but this is definitely a cool concept. Drinks start at 240 Corona, roughly 10 US dollars. Wow. Tasty? Very nice. Sweet? Very creamy. Yeah, very creamy, huh? Okay, sweet. For dinner, you gotta go all out at the popular Upa Vuka Medieval Tavern. The good thing about this place, it's unlimited drinks, so you can order as many beers as you want. This unique dinner experience includes a two and a half hour show full of pirates. Dangerous fire show performances belly dancing, a five course dinner, and an all you can drink supply of booze. Starting at roughly 52 US dollars. <laughs> that is insane. Now if you are new to Prague and you're looking to make some new friends, join the Prague Pop Crawl. The Pop Crawl team takes you to three bars and the best nightclub in town. For just 32 US dollars, you'll be guaranteed to have an epic night with the locals, expats, and other travelers and learn everything there is to know about the latest hotspots in Prague. Special tip, visit reformat.com to get an exclusive 10% discount on tickets. Fun fact, this is actually Europe's biggest bar crawl, so expect a packed night full of fun. The crawl often starts at Chapeau Rouge, down in the basement which gradually turns in a full-fledged techno party. <laughs> With a large bar, including all-you-can-drink shots of beer and wine. You will also encounter some fascinating places en route to the next bar. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, next, Steampunk Bar. Another basement bar with a great steampunk theme. The party was definitely kicking here. Good beats and good peeps. Beer start at 5 US dollars, cocktails at 8. If you like hip-hop and R&B, check out Onyx Nightclub. It has a young crowd and a lit dance floor. That's a lot of shots. Yeah. 
by far the best nightclub in Prague and also where the pop crawl often ends the night is Karlo Vilaishnia. Five massive floors of crazy party people, stage dancers and funky disco lights flooring. <laughs> Each floor having its own sound and vibe. Beers start at 4 bucks, cocktails at 5 bucks, making it quite affordable. However, the entrance is 300 corona, roughly 13 US dollars. But if you come as part of the pop crawl, you will walk in as a VIP for free. Make sure to check the links below to purchase tickets to the Prague pop crawl. This venue also includes the robotic bar and the Prague ice bar in the basement. For a more mature crowd, you gotta check out Cafe 80s, a fantastic retro fitted bar with retro icons like ET, Back to the Few, uh, 80s, oh! phone charging stations, and even popcorn. The best part? The 80s dance club in the basement with a large dance floor. Funky disco lights and a great crowd. Beers, three US dollars, cocktails, seven. Above all, the entrance is free. One of the more upscale nightclubs is Epic Prague. This place gets totally lit on special event nights, but do arrive well past 12 a.m. Make sure to check their Instagram page for upcoming events. Beers start at four bucks, craft cocktails, eight. Another one of Prague's hottest clubs is Roxy, sporting a warehouse vibe while specializing in the hotter forms of dance music. Also here, check their Instagram page for upcoming events. One of my favorite bars in Prague has to be Sorkovna Dog Bar. I randomly found this place located behind a casual plane door which leads to a massive underground cave with a ton of different rooms and sounds. A DJ, lots of bras, a games room, a kitchen serving food until 4 a.m. Spaghetti, schnitzels, lasagna, nuts. Ah, uh, what do you got? Chicken nuggets? Yeah. Really? 100? Uh, I got some pizza. Hidden bunk beds can be found throughout the venue. It's like bunk beds up there. You take a ladder, you go up, you climb up. It's like a cave. Really bizarre and funky art. Multiple bars with an interesting shot selection. One ten each. What we have? Oh, we have blowjob, pushy shot, orgasm, vibrator, and innocence. An actual puke bucket. <laughs> and even a live band. Whoa, there's a band too? Holy! <laughs> Warning, do not mess around with the kitchen staff, otherwise you may get banned for life. This was a Thursday night and as you can tell, it was very popular with local students. This party cave is truly massive and you can easily spend the entire night here. My drink of choice? Aperol tea. Don't forget to stage dive the night away. <laughs> Honorable mentions in the old town are Ufleku Bar for their traditional Czech beers and dishes. And Ukustantu, which is best known for their large selection of craft beers and the elaborate beer tasting menus. You gotta try some of their funky flavors. What does it smell like? Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> cherry, it's cherry though. Actually not too bad. Best do really beer. For cocktails, Tinska Bar & Books has to be one of the best craft cocktail bars. It's a daiquiri with hem. Wow, that's so interesting. Quality Mai Tai here. This is how you make a Mai Tai. Hemingway Bar is another popular craft cocktail bar. Sadly, this place gets very busy, so make sure to make a reservation in advance online. Their craft cocktails are fantastic. Also, this is a great date spot. For a more laid-back kind of night, you gotta check out Agartha Jazz Centrum for a quality night of pure jazz. <laughs> Beer start at two bucks, wine, three bucks, and cocktails, six. Weekend events often start at 9 p.m. Tickets go for 300 Czech Corona, roughly 14 US dollars per person. All right, let's move on to the new town, Novie Miesto. On a nice clear day like today, you gotta visit the glass bar on top of the dancing house building. This bar offers beautiful views of Prague while you enjoy a couple of drinks. 
purchasing a drink is the minimum requirement to gain access to the observatory deck. A yeah, great place for a drink, but the entrance is 100 krona. You still have to pay to get up here, that's for sure. Or just buy a drink. It's, uh, the choice is yours. Now, after a long night of drinking the most amazing beers here in Prague at the bars and nightclubs, let's soak up and drink unlimited amounts of beer at the original beer spa. The Prague Beer Spa is an award-winning experience not to be missed. Wow! Holy moly, that's amazing! Priced at roughly 123 US dollars per couple or group of two. Mixture of uh, light and dark beer with Czech hops and yeast. The bath is uh, really good for your skin because it contains a lot of vitamin. And does include snacks and an unlimited consumption of beer from your own private beer tap. Unlimited consumption of beer. Yes. Princess of beer. <laughs> with a selection of lager and dark beer. Ah. There is even a bath with a thick layer of hay. Oh. Ice cold bucket showers. Ah, shit. For the optimal effect, we recommend not to take a shower at least two hours after the bath. So yeah, don't take a shower right after. No zdrowie. Definitely a must do here in Prague. How was that, BB? Ah, relax. Was it worth it? Right now, I can't talk. For another unique experience, step into Prague's miniature railway restaurant. Why not get your beer delivered on a train? This place is called Vitopna Railway Restaurant, where trains drive around the entire venue, delivering you food and drinks. Ah, that's a very cool. Is that a train? And it's you like have a to rub it. Oh shoot. Get yourself a delivery of Czech's finest beers or a complete beer sampler and some of their quality dishes. Can't wait. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Just make sure not to disrupt these trains while they're making their deliveries. I've never seen a, a bar tap with a train station right in front of it. Draft beers start roughly at three bucks. The entire beer train sampler will set you back eight bucks. Tasty beer, tasty beer. Nothing beats a nice dark beer, especially in Prague. They know how to brew this properly. For a more fun, eventful night out, you gotta hit up Joystick Bar. One of the uh, most famous arcades here in Prague. Joystick Bar has a ton of fun arcades. A wide variety of pinball machines, foosball, and Dance Dance Revolution. What a Beethoven winter. Oh, 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 A plus. What does that mean, BB? A plus. What does that mean? Is that good? Is, is that good, A plus? New high score. What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? The entrance is free and beers start at just two bucks. Cocktails start at seven bucks. Each arcade game cost 10 Czech Corona. Most arcades we visited around the world, it's usually free. The two dollars beer is kind of a payoff. Okay, so let's do nice. the conversion. You mean 50 cents Canadian dollars, correct? Yeah, so like 40 cents US. Just make sure not to mistake this large urinal for a sink. This isn't a urinal, is it? The anonymous shrinks office. A mysterious bar where you will not find any drink menus. These are actual drinks. There's no menu. This is the menu. Whatever floats your boat, that's your drink. You will simply select a color palette from which the bartender crafts together your cocktail. There are plenty of different color palettes to choose from. <laughs> they just make it up as they go. <laughs> the most popular nightclub in the new town is Duplex. Sporting large dance floors, bottle service, gorgeous Czech models and often famous DJs. Duplex has major events every single day of the week. Check their Instagram feed for the latest event announcements. Now I recommend ending your night at Fuchs 2, Prague's most popular techno club. However, the cover charge is a bit steep for Prague standards. 400 Corona, 18 US dollars. But if you are on a budget, you will find Bike Jesus located in the basement of Fuchs 2, where the cover is just 11 US dollars. Bike Jesus has a great atmosphere due to the DJ being among the crowd in the middle of the dance floor. Making it feel like a more intimate techno party. Getting drinks, however, is a bit unusual. You have to buy a cup, basically. It's 50 krona, and you keep that with you the whole night. And then you refill it at the bar. That's why the prices are so cheap. So it gets cheaper if you just keep the cup. So don't lose your cup. Two US dollars for beers, wine, and even coffee. Take no coffee at 6 a.m. 
<laughs> These techno clubs are located on Tsvanniche Island in the middle of the Vladava River. The next day, make your way to the Malastrana district, also known as Lesser Town. To get here, you have to cross the famous Charles Bridge, which is often swarming with tourists and offers the scenic views of the Vladava River. It's a little bit cold. Luckily, they have bolts. So, you know, if you don't want to walk too much, you can bolt your way anywhere. Not too expensive, but, but not cheap. Now, I usually don't feature food in these nightlife videos, but for porks, I'll make an exception. Enjoy craft beers, but above all, their insanely delicious and crunchy pork knuckle roasts. <laughs> wow! Fresh. Walk up the street until you reach Terrasa u Sladne Studnia at the Golden Well. This rooftop terrace offers incredible views of Prague while you enjoy a drink. Like some hot cocoa. <laughs> it's like chocolate mousse. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna drink this. It's like chocolate pudding. Or Irish coffee during the cold winter months. Oh, I think at nighttime here, this place gets more lively. I mean, they have heaters here which is nice. The restaurant is a bit pricey, but on the roof of the restaurant, there's a standing area where you can have a nice drink. My favorite bar in Lesser Town has to be the Nightmare Horror Bar. It has a sound already. Listen to the horror sound. <laughs> I love horror movies. Horror movies are some of my favorite movies, like Alien, Predator, Silence of the Lambs. Can you come closer? <laughs> <laughs> Creepy. Freddy Krueger. I really want to go home. <laughs> the Nightmare Horror Bar is one of the most unique bars here in Prague. Man, they even have Chucky in here. It displaces every iconic horror character you can imagine. From Freddy Krueger, Ringu, and Gizmo to the Reanimator and even Pinhead from Hellraiser. Holy moly, you can even play aliens in here. This place just gets better and better every time you turn a corner. Horror themed shots start at 85 Corona for US dollars. A Freddy Krueger shot, brains in a shot glass. Oh, that's really nice. It's like yogurt, but yeah, that's delicious and strong and sweet, very sweet. Another great party venue is OX Club on the weekends. A brand new super modern club with three stages, bottle service and models. Topping off this list with Cross Club, which is quite far from the city center. Cross Club is a very artsy venue with an industrial themed atmosphere, often hosting very large drum and bass events. Prague also counts many incredible music festivals. Let It Roll Festival is a popular annual electronic music festival during the first week of August. Metronome Festival, another annual music festival spanning four days with a ton of musical acts during the month of June. Additionally, there is the Imagination Festival for the heavier electronic music lovers during the month of November. A special tip, make reservations way ahead of time as much as you can. Many places I mentioned in this video can be quite busy on the weekends. Thus, a reservation is often required. Now go download my complete reformat map for Prague with all the locations I mentioned in this video. Cluster together in districts to optimize the time you spend walking around. Simply click the link in the right corner of your screen. This is one of the most in-depth nightlife videos I've ever made, so please give this video a big like and sit tight for my bonus tips. If if time permits, jump on a boat cruise on the Vlatava River for a romantic night on the water, from which you can marvel at the gorgeous skyline and the Charles Bridge. Tickets start at 19 bucks for a 50-minute cruise. What is the best part about the boat cruise? Not raining. <laughs> Book your tickets through the links in the description box below. For accommodation, consider staying at either an Airbnb or many of the great hotels on Booking.com. We ended up renting a gorgeous Airbnb, which was actually a historic house of an ancient bohemian weapon manufacturer for the Austrian Habsburg family. In conclusion, Prague is a very cool city. Most bars and clubs are all within walking distance. Just make sure to come and enjoy the city during the summer months. The winter can be very cold and harsh during the night. But if you do decide to come down during the winter months, make sure to hit up many of Prague's excellent Christmas markets. Also, English is widely spoken in Prague, thus you have no problem getting around town. In my opinion, Prague is quite like Paris. However, it's much cheaper, much cleaner and more compact. We were covered in beer barley when we stepped out of those tanks. Brown and green. Yeah. It almost felt like I shot at myself because it was it was I can't all over me. <laughs>
para ir Dutch. Your face is like. You oh. saying my face is big? Well, in the beer. <laughs> <laughs>